Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another trending now. Um, for today, Miss Liz has, she has a palette of colors um, for us to use. So Miss Kim and I are using um, colors from that color palette and you will see a picture of all the colors up on my blog okay so I decided to use three of the colors um, but I'm going to show you the set uh, we're using today I'm using thanks for the lift um, and I'm using this sentiment here hello and this is a set that has some coordinating dies to go with it and then I'm also using the stitched uh, squares inside and out and I'm using the smallest square there um, to create a pattern on my card okay so what I did was, let me grab all of my little, let me grab all the little squares I cut out here. I already cut out all the squares. And what I'm gonna do, what I did actually was I put a line right across where I wanted them to actually go. So, um, oh, and I'm also using this here, the Memento Lux Angel Pink ink for the actual, sentiment I don't I'm not sure about all of you but I have a million inks and I swear whenever a cut I stamp like probably eight different pinks <laughs> to get the closest pink possible okay <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'm like I said I'm gonna use this as my guideline um, and then I want to start by arranging them on here I want this to be the center um, so hopefully that's the center. If not, if it's not the center, what I plan on doing is using my, oh, I'm also going to use my rectangle stitch die. I'm going to put it on top and I'm just going to cut out all the edges so it could all be even. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I want to pop some up. So let's go ahead and pop up the middle, guys. How about that? Let's do that. Okay, let's put that like so. So we'll do like every other one maybe. Okay, so I decided to use the three colors that you see me here that I'm using. Okay, we'll just keep the middle one popped and let's go ahead and just um, adhere this down. I'm just going to use this right here, this multi mat since it's on my desk and it's the easiest easiest thing to use right now let's see okay anyways before I forget um, I've been getting all these sweet messages about Anthony we got his results back from his MRI and thank God it was just because at first they said he sprained he sprained his knee but then when they were examining him I guess there was a certain part of it where she thought it was something more, but it'll end up being he has a really bad bruised bone, um, which she said that could take up to six weeks to heal. So thank God. Let me tell you, if I think we all did the happy dance once we heard that news because, yeah, I don't know what, what he would have done if it would have been something other than that. So thank God. And so thank you all for all of your sweet wishes as well. Um, he's going to be fine. So he's just looking forward to, you know, like the doctor said, don't rush back um, because give it another f couple of weeks for him to, you know, get back into his sports. Because right now he is doing wrestling. Um, as soon as wrestling's over, he'll go straight into baseball. So yeah, busy, busy. They're going to be busy. And then maybe Aaron's going to back to playing baseball this um, year too, so I'm super excited about that. So I'll have both boys playing this year. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to not to mess up here, so I don't want to ruin my color. Okay, let's put this here. I should have popped up these, to be honest with you. I should have. You know what? Actually, is it too late? No, it's not. It's not, actually. Let me hurry up and take this one off, though. I think I want to pop up all the center ones. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to pop up all the center guys. I know it looks terrible what I just did, but it's not going to look too bad as soon as we're done. 
There we go. Much now I feel better. I just wasn't I wasn't wasn't feeling it the other way. Okay, let me get this off. Okay, there you go. Ooh, but you know what? <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. Remember, I told you I was going to do the rectangle. It's okay. We're going to make it work. Okay. All right. So if I if I don't do the rectangle stitch die, then I'll just be cutting it with my trimmer. I don't want to take any chances and ruin to and ruin this. Ruin is that? What it's, yeah. <laughs> mess this up. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead. So you see what I'm where where I'm getting at here. I'm just trying to make a pattern here. Um, and that's it, a really easy card to make. The only thing that just takes a little bit of time, but it doesn't take too long. It's just cutting out all of the little squares in your machine. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here at the, um, let's see. We're going to put this one right here. And then this one here at the edge. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the glue actually on the paper better. So I'll know exactly where it goes. Okay, perfecto. Okay, then I'm going to do the last one. The last two are going to go here. So they just look like little diamonds. there and that there so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry really quick and then we're going to go ahead and trim down the sides okay okay it actually worked <laughs> what I did was I got my um what do you call it I taped it down my this is my little stitch rectangular die I taped it down on top um, because I was afraid, remember, because I popped these up, um, I wasn't sure how it was going to take, and it it kind of like smushed them down a little bit, but it's okay. But it actually, look how nice and even it looks. It came out really perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment, um, the hello sentiment. And I'm hoping this pink looks okay, and if it doesn't, then I'm, I'm just going to have to live with it because... I don't think there will be on any other way for me to repair it, I should say, if I don't like it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to ink it up right here. I'm just going to get a little bit more. I haven't used this ink in a long time. But, okay. So I'm, let's see, I'm going to put this right here. There you go. Actually, it doesn't look bad. Actually, and look at how it matches. Not like identical with the pink, but it matches better than all the other millions <laughs> that I was testing out earlier. Let me wipe off my stamp really quick here. Okay. So now all we have to do is just um, all we have to do is just put it on a base of a card. Let me grab that really quick. I'm so sorry, I thought I turned the camera back on as I was putting this onto the base of the card, but I did nothing special. I just added the, a little foam, the little fun foam in between. But as I was looking for it, I don't like, I'm not sure if you could see it in the camera, but when I, I shouldn't have popped up these to begin with because you see how it's showing the indent of the actual little pop-up thing underneath. So what I'm going to do to hopefully salvage that I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and just use some sequins. Um, let me grab some tweezers here. Uh, to cover up those little dents, just to take away from it. So this way, when I take the picture of it, you won't see those big old dents in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these big, big um, sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. Um, I'm going to put it on probably there too. It wasn't so bad there but it was at the end ones is where you could actually see the indent. So I figured we'll just make it all even and put that like so. Um, 
I feel like something's missing. I just don't know. I may just leave this alone, but if there is something missing, you'll see it at the end of the video. And also, don't forget, I do have a, an overstock item sale in my store, and I believe this is one of them. So if you don't have this set, you might want to check it out. It's for a pretty good price right now. Um, and that's it, everyone. This is my card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so, so much for tuning in. And also thank you so much for all the well wishes and all the sweet um, messages I was getting for Anthony. He appreciated it. So thank you so much. Um, so that's it. Have a fabulous day, everybody. Have a fabulous weekend. And I will see you all back here on Monday. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.